All right. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I got a uh, second box here. Uh, Duskborn House of Horror Play Boosters. Uh, went and did another, um, basically another pre-release uh, tournament. It's the fair down here in Coshocton, Ohio. Uh, if you've never been to Coshocton, well, not missing much. Uh, the fair used to be uh, one of the fairs to uh, go to. But uh, lately anymore, it's, boy, you got to take out a loan to, just to even get in. Ooh. But anyway, this is uh, box number two. Uh, you can sit here with me and watch me open this and look at all the junk that I get. Because, well, that's my luck because I don't get anything good. We've never seen the uh, all the different um, archetypes in there. I'm sure, by now most of you have seen all that. Anyway, um, what do you guys think now that uh, it's all released and everything? And by now, I'm sure everybody has seen most of the uh, most of the cards. Um, that have been out there being shown and everything like that. But, uh, anyway, well, here we go. Last time I tried to keep count. Yeah, I lost count after, like, four. So, we'll just, uh, go this route here and we'll just open them up. And, well, you guys can keep count if you want or not. I don't know. Well, I mean, did they super glue these? I'm just reading the pack here. Well, okay then. Peer past the veil, swamp. I'm gonna go through these a little faster. My last video was long. Threats around every corner. Let's play a game. I like that card. Drag the roots. I don't think I have that one. An unwilling vessel. Spectral snatcher. Smelly weight room. Yeah, we've seen that one before. I know we've seen all these before. Shattered yard. I don't know that I got that one. Uh, shepherding spirits. I don't think I have that one either. anybody over the uh, the hype of the new what band cards or whatever yeah that means nothing to me really I don't have don't have those cards anyway and uh, I'm not a particular like player that there bothers me a whole lot I'll play with what I got I'm not uh, I'm not a fan of like I guess professional type playing I play for fun so I mean I say if you got the card, play the card. Um, I understand during professional playing, you know, where it really diminishes the uh, the gameplay. But, I mean, that's what the cards were made for, was to play with. So, I mean, then I'm not just to sit around and say, yeah, I have that card, but I'm not allowed to play it. And all the rules and everything, but... I'm not an avid player anyway. I'm just getting back into it. Uh, if you haven't heard you know, me say it before, or if I haven't said it before, I was into it when it first started back in 1994, 95, and then I played for about four or five years. I don't know, about 2000 or so. I basically offloaded everything I had. Uh, you know, basically just gave it all away. Uh, for free so yeah getting back into it a little art card enduring innocence by kawasumi Ooh. oh that's one of the like japanese foil but not foil it's just an art card boy i wish i would have that in the uh the foil art that'd be nice kawasumi nice 
flesh burrower. Undead sprinter. Deface gallery. I think we've got that one. Midnight mayhem. <laughs> the gremlins. Miamis a demon. It's a good card. When Miamis a demon, demon enters, you may discard any number of cards. When you do, up to that many target creatures, get a minus two, minus two until end of turn. So, you play that. And then discard your hand. Wipe out somebody's uh, creature board. Fear of the dark. Well, like it's kind of like black and white. Grab the prize. Trapped in the screen. Go in the light. Well, some of these things are like sealed like Fort Knox. Does that mean there's good cards in there versus not good cards? Well, there's a copy token. Definitely increasing my tokens. A possessed goat. Lakeside Shack, Reluctant Role Model. So another one of those Ghostbuster type themes. Phantasmal Image. Ooh, oh, that's one of them uh, special guest cards. Nice. Crack Skull, Frenetic Strength, Fear Lost Teeth. More glimmers. Most valuable slayer. I don't think he's really that valuable. I mean, kind of is, but strangled cemetery. Deface gallery. Lionheart glimmer. Cynical loner. Anthropede bear trap. I like those bear traps. They're people don't really like them. I send them out there, and then bam, I can. Get rid of creatures if I don't like them out there. Oh, sorry about that. I had to go away for a second. Another art card, Unwanted Remake by Ivan Shavron. Shavron. Oh, we've already got that one. Don't make a sound. Forest, Cato, Bane of Nightmare. I think that's the second one I got. Unholy Annex and Ritual Chamber. Ooh, when you unblock this door, create a 6-6 six, six black demon creature token with flying. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card. If you control a demon, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life otherwise. So, wow. So, create a demon deck based on this. Holy mackerel. Use this. Create that. And then, if you have something that brings this back to your hand, do it again over and over. Nice. Duskborn's Dominion. Another shark. That's the only shark in this set, isn't it? Let me know. I think it is. It's the only one I've ever seen. Ooh, another art card. Dominic Council by Babs Webb. The uh, the moth, kind of like the little set icon. Unsettling twins, flood farm verge, blue white. 
ley line of the void. If card you would be put in an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Those ley lines are, yeah, I don't know. They're nice. Weathering Torment, destroy target creature or enchantment. You lose two life. I guess if you got life to spare and you need to get rid of something that's hurting you. I guess better to lose two life once versus getting pinged a lot. Or giving them the upper hand. Glimmer Seeker. Cadaver Labs, Defiled Crypt. Horde Vigor. Round Footage. Derelict Attic, Widow's Walk. Bedhead Beastie. Emerge from the Cocoon. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, and then you gain three life. Nice, wow. Sea Slumber. Marina Vandrell, Magali Villanue, Nueve, I don't know. Winter's Intervention, Island Doomsday, Excruciator, Flying when Doomsday enters, if it was cast, each player exiles all but the bottom six cards of their library face down. At the beginning of your holy, so that brings you down to six cards. <laughs> We're gonna check that one out. I don't know what that one's worth. That one's got to be worth a lot. Holy crap! What would be a good demon deck with the cards I got, guys? You got an app out there that'll tell you, or a website that'll, you know, you can. Put all your cards in and it'll help build the deck based on what you have. Um, seems like maybe building a demon deck would be uh, an advantageous deck and a hateful deck for other people to play against. Hushwood's Verge by Kasia Kafis Zalinska. The Oculus. Abandoned Campground. Come back wrong. Destroy target creature. If a creature card is put into a graveyard this way, return it to the battlefield under your control. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next turn. Next turn. Worker Folk, Thresher, Trial of Agony, Shard Major Rescue, Feel of Isolation, Clockwork Percussionist. Anybody playing with that Doomsday Excruciator? Boy, what's with all these art cards? Victor Valgavos Sensual by Ashley McKenzie. Well, that's cool. That was a really cool art picture. Possible Inferno, Neglected Manor, Nasashi, Searcher in the Dark. There's the blue ley line. Veteran Survivor. <laughs> He's just walking out of there like, yeah. I just took care of business. Patch plaything. Baseball bat. Unable to say, say its name. Crackling slasher. Grab the prize. All the cool cards though. I guess I guess those are just all in the collector boosters, not the play boosters. I don't know. Somebody explain to me how that works, because. I mean, I get it. These are play boosters. It's the lower cost pack. You know the boxes. Uh, 
collector hole restricted and if you want the collector boosters you're gonna pay a premium fear of being haunted slip skin doll skull snap nuance manifest dread and that's that shark again Seem to be struggling a lot with these packs. I don't know why. Maybe I need more coffee. I don't know. It is in the morning here. Enduring Vitality. Nice foil glimmer. Elk glimmer. Reminds me of the Harry Potter movie. Razor skin. Needle head. Killer mask. I'll see a stick twister, throw armor. Boo. Red light, ley line. Attack in the box, shrewd storyteller. It's a giant creature stepping on the dude down there. At least the razors can are happy when they kill you. The walkers don't even notice. Any Ohio players or even people watching here in Ohio? Horde Vigor Swamp Enduring Curiosity Optimistic Scavenger Get Out Wildfire Wicker, Wicker Folk Nice 4 3 Del with Delirium if you got that in there. Those deliriums are late turn uh, game changers. Unless you got something that, you know, purposely sacrifice cards to, just to play delirium. Jeez. Come on, wizard. Put like open here on there. Uh, Dashing Bloodsucker by Randy G Galagos. Oh, that vampire on. Yeah, Glimmer Light, Murky Sewer. Oh, there's my Meat Hook Mask here too. I've been wanting that one. I haven't seen that one. I don't know what it's worth, but we'll check that out. But I've seen a lot of people opening that card, and that's the first one that I've opened. And Altenic, the Thrice Called. Untimely Malfunction. Given to Violence. Bashful Beastie. Vicious Clown. Rip Chain Razor Skin. All right. Now who's got the Meat Hook Massacre 1 card? You go ahead and send that to me, that way I got both. Optimistic Scavenger. Good luck, lady. Enduring Innocence. Another Harry Potter type card. Who's a Bambi? Coordinated Clobbering. Oop, there's Saw. What's the other one? Oh, Chainsaw. I haven't seen that one yet. Anybody got the Chainsaw? Anybody play with the chainsaw? Anybody want to buy any of these cards that I have? Like 500 of them already? A dollar. Give me a dollar. No, a 
dollar a card. Shard. Manifest Dread. Mountain. The Wandering Rescuer. Fear Exposure. Under the Skin. Shroud Stomper. Children of the... I mean, Orphans of the Wheat. Primo the Indivisible, Crystal Wolf or something, Norwin the Swift Survivalist, Marvin the Murderous Mimic, Marvin the Murmur Murderous Mimic has all activated abilities of creatures you control that don't have the same name as this creature. What does that mean? He's got all activated abilities of creatures I control. That don't have so if he's not a artifact creature toy, or if he's not the murder Marvin murderous mimic, he's everything else. Huh. Diversion specialist, brood brood spinner. It's got reach when brood spinner enters. Surveil two. Pay that, sacrifice him, create a one number of 1-1 one, one black creatures, black and green creature tokens with flying equal to the number of card types among the cards in your graveyard. So it's another one of those, sacrifice a bunch of cards with uh, delirium. It's a rat. Treasure, Foil Rat, Foil Mountain, Hushwood Verge, Overgrown Zewot, Fear of Being Hunted, Ghostly Key Bearer, Sporogenic Infection, Well, if only I had the money to pay to buy a bunch of other stuff. Oh, my goodness. Really? Shard. Found footage. Planes. Grievous wound. Enchant player. Enchanted player can't gain life. Whenever enchanted players dealt damage, they lose half their life rounded up. Ooh, I like that card, too that over there. It's probably not worth anything, but I like it. Vagavoth Faithful. Sacrifice this card. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then activate only as a sorcery. Gremlin Tamer. Bright light! Bright light! Don't get them wet and don't feed them after midnight. House of Cartographer, Kai Carpenter, and the signature one. Murder Foil, Mountain, the Jolly Balloon Man. Ooh, that's, I got the other version of that too. I kind of like this one, the Balloon Man. I kind of like this one better than the other one. The other one is just like the head and like a head and him blowing up a balloon or whatever. I like this picture better. I don't know. What's your opinion? Uh, vile mutilator. Elegant rotunda. Grand entryway. Don't make a sound.
I hear all these names of like when you play different colors or whatever, they're called something. Yeah, I remember when you just called them a red green deck, blue white deck, whatever. Fear of missing out. Caucho Rubion. Another signature card. That's a cool card too. Rootwise Survivor, Razor Trap Gorge, Marina Vendrell's Grimmore. If you cast it, draw five cards. You have no maximum hand size and don't lose the game for having zero. I think I've already got one of these. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, discard that many cards. Then, if you have no cards in the hand, you lose the game. I don't know if that's a good card or not. Let's look at it. I don't know. What's your guys' thought on that one? The Marina Vendrell's Grimoire. How would you play that? Uh, I don't know. Where would you play that at? Because, boy, if you're drawing cards, I guess keep just small hands. Build a deck that kind of manipulates the top part of that. Definitely don't play Fear of the Field Test with that card, though. Boy, you're drawing cards left and right. Intruding Soul Rager. Popular Egotist. Crack Skull. Slimy Aquarium. Fear of the Failed Test Foil, Raucous Carnival, Overlord of the Footprint, Flood Pits. All right, now I've got all the Overlords. Let's check that one. That's probably like a $20 card, or was. All the other ones were like 15 to 19 I think. Fear Exposure, Greenhouse, and Rickety Gazebo. Lands you control have... There any color? That's cool. Another Arabella abandoned doll. I think I got one of those already. Maybe two. Sheltered ghost, unable to scream, monstrous emergence. Anybody out there just trying to collect the cards versus like play the cards? Strictly collectors. If you're collecting them, do you try to get four of a, you know, each one or just one of each one? Boil Builders Ripper. I mean, makes sense to have at least one, but then if you want, you know, because of regular gameplay, you can have four of each card. I don't know that I got a foil one of those. I don't know that I like the foil. Keys to the house. Come on in. Really? Go eat a bowl of weeds. Insect. Nice cool moth picture. Yep, we've seen all these. Nothing really cool in that one. Yay, garbage. Toby the Beastie Befriender. The Section Tools, Fungus, Fear of Infinity. I think we've seen all these too. Nothing. Another early nap pack. Let me know if you want to see me open up some more. Uh, we're going to have to 
saved the dollars though to get a uh, the booster pack. Enduring Cure. Ooh, there's a nice for uh, glimmer, foil glimmer. Let's just check that one, just cause it's probably not worth anything. Head Shredder, Pyroclasm, deals two damage to each creature. Live or die. Right of the Moth, that's the first one of those I got. Yep. I feel like I'm going through these a lot faster than the first time, but I guess the first one it was the first time I seen them, so I was looking at every card. Oblivious Bookworm, oh, we've already got that by Josh Newton. I'm just kind of sitting there like, hmm, I'm bored. Crackling Slasher, Foil, Itch Cornfield, Cursed Recording, Blaze Myers Verge. I don't know that I got this rendition of it. I think I've got two or three of the Blaze Myers Verges, but not this full art. Another glimmer. Reminds me of a uh, Firefox uh, internet browser. Firefox or uh, Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know why. Garbage. Appreciate it, Wizards, for supplying those. Emerge from the cocoon. I kind of like that card. That's a different foil. Peer past the veil. Yeah, we've seen that once or twice. Then draw cards. Attic in the box. Shrewd storyteller. Locker room. Widow's lock. Drowned diner. Monstrous emergence. Crackling. Resurrected. Rampage. Cult healer. Yep. Nothing really in that one. Victor Valgaroff and Seneschal Senecal Sense Seneschal Jeremy Wilson. Hmm, he reminds me of uh, Aladdin. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Jafar. Yeah, he reminds me of Jafar off of Aladdin. You see it? No. Yeah. Drag the Roots, Island. Oh, look at there. play a game. I think that's the first foil of that one I've got. <laughs> Getting down to it. We got what? This one and three more. Cross your fingers and toes that I get something kind of cool. Prop Room, Dazzling Theater, Defiant Survivor, Patchwork Beastie, Valgoloth's Faithful, Another Abandoned Doll. I think I got four of those sharks now. That one didn't return anything good. Another spirit, foil friendly teddy, cure your lighthouse, Victor Valgavoff's since show. That's one of them dual. So that's not the shiny one. It's 
Saw blade skin ripper. This one or this one? Which one? Yeah? That one? Alright, we'll do this one. Fear my authority. Stephen Belladin. You know, like demon face or something here. Eyes and a mouth. I don't know. Was it spiders? Yeah, spiders. Ooh. Exercise. No. Exile target artifact, enchantment, or creature with power four or greater. Well, there's a good way to get rid of some big creatures. Bleeding Woods. Thornspire Verge. Full Art. Enduring Vitality. Seen that one. Norn Swiss Survivor List. Beastie Beatdown. <laughs> All those before, too. What are there? 481 cars? 418 total? That's everything from all the special versions, different versions. Island Valgaboth's Onslaught. Manifest Dread X times, then put X plus one plus one counters on each of those creatures. Let's look at that one. That's probably not worth much. I want to look at it anyway. Haunted Screen, Optimistic, Nowhere to Run, Growing Dread. Yeah. All right, that's all of them, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at these here and see kind of, you know, are they worth anything? I have no idea. Meat Hook Mask here, and then Doomsday Excruciator. I got another one of those. It's not the Doomsday Excruciator, but it's something that's uh, basically it puts somebody's life uh, in half or something like that. I don't know. All right. Okay, guys. Well, uh, have a good day. Keep playing.